All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word in honesty, truth, and sincerity. Now, as you see here, let's uh, play this real quick. DNA test confirming Kazarians, Ashkenazis, Jews are not the blood descendants of Hebrew Israel, Israelis, Israelites. Anyway, just click below. Thank you all very much. See, so, um, so, um, <laughs> there you have it. Okay, well. We, you know, the scriptures say when the rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. But when the poor man speaketh, and we've been telling you guys this from the longest time. All right, here it is. You got here from a so-called uh, white man telling you that, hey, those Kazarian, those Askin, <laughs> they're not the Jews. They're not the Jews of the Bible, man. They're not Israelites. Kazarians, Ashkenazis, Jews are not the blood descendants of Hebrew. Israel, Israelis. Israelites. Israelites. I don't know Israelis, because I was made up. It's Hebrew Israelites, okay? And he did make the correction, but as you can see it there, you know, he's saying it out of his own mouth, right? And remember, the scriptures do say, I think that's Psalms 64 and 8, shall cause their tongue to fall upon themselves. Confirming Kazarian. DNA test confirming Kazarians. I'll put the link Ashkenazis, in the description. Jews are not the blood descendants of Hebrew, Israel, Israelis, Israelites. Yeah, there you go. So as you see, I think nine hours ago, uh, 102 likes, <laughs> four downs. <laughs> Vocab's probably one of them. <laughs> But um, I'm going to put this link in the description, maybe both of them or just, just to this one. Or maybe, yeah, probably both of them because you never know what they might do. But um, let me get into the scriptures here because we already know it, okay? Revelation 3 and 9, Behold, I will, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold. I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee, okay? And we already know that those people over there, they're not, they're not the true uh, Israelites, okay? I mean, we may be sprinkled and peppered amongst them. Hey, shit, you could even say probably like 25%, 20% are um, actual Israelites, okay? But, um... Beyond a shadow of a doubt, those aren't the real people, okay? And um, when you when you go into the scriptures, we clearly we've gone over this so much different times. It's not even it's not even funny, okay? But um, those people over there, they're bastards, okay? The Most High has already told you that. Revelation two and nine. I know that works, and tribulation and poverty, but thou art art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogues, the synagogue of Satan. Okay, so we know that those people over there, they've set up this um, false identity. Okay, and they've taken they've taken the the identity of us, and um ran with it, you know, for these for this whole time. Okay. Job nine and twenty four, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay. Main point he was the one, you know, consulting with all these other nations. And on top of that too, he he took down he he planned against us and he planned against these nations. Okay the hell's going on here 
So when the scriptures say that, you know, he covered the faces of the judges thereof, we're the judges, the true judges, okay? But what Esau, what Esau Edom do with all the rest of these um, nations is um, cut them off as well, okay? Because once he got his position, you know, fruity tooty, sweet, you know, he slowly started to take down these other nations as well, okay? Scraping their identity off, right? Because you got these Hamites calling themselves Africans, okay? Asia, all these different uh, places. Uh, Amerigo Vespucci, okay? So you got all these uh, different places named after Esau Edom. And it tells you that once he goes into that land, he takes down, you know, he takes down the king, the queens, you know, he takes down the royal, the royal blood, <laughs> per se. Basically, he takes down the people, okay? And once he does, once he does that, he changes the name, puts up whatever name he wants, and that's it, okay? It tells you that in the scriptures. Um, let's go into the Psalms, 83. And uh, starting from four, uh, yeah, let's start from three. They have took and crafty counsel against thy people. Now, who's the people of the Lord? The true Israelites, okay? The Negroes, so called Negroes, Latinos, and um, Native Americans, okay? And they're not Native Americans, and they're not Latinos, and they're not Negroes, okay? They, they are Israelites, all right? And you have the ones that are scattered abroad. You know, you might have some so-called um, Indians or Chinese or whoever, you know, that look like them, but they're really the um, seed of Israel because we went and mingled our seed amongst all these other nations. And the Lord told us not to do that. But uh, Yahweh Shai, Amos 9 and 9, he will be doing the sifting, okay? Because... Only the angel of them and, you know, Yahweh Shai and Yahweh knoweth who his people are, right? So we're here in the flesh and we can only judge, you know, as, as it says in the scriptures, spirit, spirit witness with our spirit. But getting back to this, they have taken crafty, Psalms 83 and 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Okay, so all these Israelites out here, they run around calling themselves Americans, call themselves whatever the fuck. Okay, whatever, whatever it may be. Okay, and they're making, um, you know, they're taking a uh, man's flesh and making it their strength putting it on as their identity, calling themselves um, Americans, and, you know, you might have some over in Africa calling themselves Africans, you know, but they're taking on the the the, um, the falsehood, the uh, false identity that Esau Edom has set up for them, okay, telling them they're a black person, and that Esau Edom, he's a white person, and, you know, all that was made up in the 1600s. I think, uh, what was his name, Timothy W. Allen, okay, so, you know, when you do, when you do the, when you do the, uh, the history, and check everything out, you, you start to realize those people in that land there, call themselves, uh, Jews, they're not, okay, and, like I said, they, um, all consulted together to cut us off from being a nation, okay, and in hopes that we would uh, be forgotten, okay? But the Most High, you know, Esau Edom's an idiot too because his elites will know and read the scriptures and, hey, <laughs> they'll know, hey, these things got to come to pass. And yet, it tells you that, you know, the Lord is going to uh, um, pour the Spirit upon all flesh and on top of that, He's going to make us to remember ourselves, okay, in the land of, in the land of our captivities. You know, in Baruch. So, <laughs> these Edomites, man, that's why they're still going to try and fight. You know, when they see Yahweh Shai uh, returning with the angels, they're still going to try and fight. 
That's that's the type of spirit that Esau Edom has, you know. He's proud, he's full of himself. But going back to this, uh, verse 5, For they have consulted together with one consent, they are, they are confederate against thee. Okay, and it starts out and tells you the tabernacles of Edom, okay, Ishmaelites, the Moabs, Hagarians, okay, and so on and so forth. They all, oh yeah, Amalek, they all came together to consult, to cut us off from being a nation that, you know, we we may be trampled, we may be stomped upon throughout the whole uh, days of our generation. But the Lord said that he's going to pour out his, his spirit upon all flesh, okay? So there's no, there's no, um, how do you say it? There's no um, getting around this, man. There's no way you can hide, no way you can, um, you know, uh, run from this, man. Oh, it's like, yeah. There it is right here. Two and thirty, for I knew that they would not would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people. Exodus thirty two and nine. Okay. They're stiff necked. But in the land of their captivities captivities they shall remember themselves. Okay. And the most high is gonna make us to remember ourselves. Okay. Not anybody else, not some um uh some uh, scholar Edomite or whatever the hell, you know, even though he, he speaks through men, but at the same time, he's going to wake up his prophets and they're going to do their, their just work. Man, you see how the devil works? Fashion over. What the fuck is this doing on my Bible, man? Girls show themselves off. Do <laughs> Yo, you, you see how this fucking... Oh, man. Look <laughs> at that. How over at that shy, man. I'm telling you, you, hey, you saw that. I didn't make that up. Okay, it's not like I clicked in and clicked to another something that had some picture. Shit was moving. Maybe I should even edit that shit out. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. And it, shall, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Okay? So we're seeing all these things coming to pass right now. Okay? Yeah, you're having all these people wake up and giving true, um, you know, uh, record, true, uh, how do you say the uh, epistles, you know, saying, yo, I, I, uh, I went somewhere and... The image I see wasn't what they portrayed to me, you know that 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 uh, Beach Boy, that Beach Boy Jay's, uh, <laughs> J C, okay, that they put up in the um, pictures and drawings. It's not him, you know. He's a dark skinned man, and he's pissed off. You know what I mean? And his son is pissed off too, you know. So when when people are starting to see these things and starting to realize like yo we we've we've been had we've been hoaxed and the peon edomites they're gonna be they're gonna be hella pissed too as well because they're gonna say to themselves i could have been living fucking lavishly all this time and you guys you one percenters you elites were all hogging this oh man <laughs> there's gonna be mashing of teeth of course but when those average day peon uh edomites wake up to the facts and they're not going to wake up to the facts, but what I mean is when they realize in the last moments, you know, I, this was my kingdom. I was supposed to be living like a king. They're going to be pissed. Of course they'd be pissed. I mean, if somebody told you that in the last five minutes of your life, you know, you'd be pissed. You'd be hella pissed, you know. <laughs> but this is happening right now. The Most High is pouring out his uh, spirit. 
So all these people are are getting to see all these things that are about to um befall upon this earth, okay? You know, Habakkuk, right division, is yet for a point in time. You know, that's why this uh damn demon there was uh spilling his guts, okay? Well, whether he be an Israelite or not, you know, that's 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 how my hands, you know, I I only saw a two second, uh, basically a thirty seven, or whatever second video that he put up there, but at the same time, hey, the Most High is 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 pulling back the curtain, okay, pulling it back, so all can see. And ain't ain't no ain't no denying this, man. He don't deny this at all, man. I'm going to close out Zechariah 9 and 6. And a bastard. And a bastard. <laughs> Let's say it one more time. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. And I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Okay. So, <laughs> you guys that's been uh, running around. Portraying that you you are the people of the Most High, you know, you already know yourself because you over there eating a uh, white steak, which is pork, or, if I if I'm not mistaken, okay. You guys over there polluting the land, you know, doing all types of uh, obscene things and perverted things and uh, perverse things, you know. You, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to answer, man. You're gonna have to answer, okay. So, hey, with that, I hope you're edified. Shalom.